let me tell you a little story. So this is my pursuit of creating cities for people of tomorrow. The pursuit started with a simple quote. Is that all? You see, but do not observe. To you the world remains an impenetrable mystery, whereas to me it is an open book. You see, but do not observe. You see, but do not observe. Alright, alright. So you do see, but you don't observe. Then what the hell is the difference, Sherlock? In Sherlock's term, which is in a crime scene, he observe, or more accurately predict, the behavior of criminal. What do they wear, what do they touch, or which path do they choose. Then what the hell does this relate to urbanism? This notion has strangely linked me to the likes of people first city's urbanist beliefs, like Jane Jacobs, William White, and Jan Gale. But instead of a crime scene, they observe how people behave in cities, and how cities affect people's behavior. Gale Cities for People concept in particular have piqued my academic and professional interest, and over the past five years I've been exploring this topic. But then, reality struck. What I experienced during my time as an urban designer was master planning, master planning, and master planning again, again, and again. That's why I decided to pursue my master degree in Teodelf. Here, I always try to link my works to the idea of cities for people, so I'm back on track. This journey culminates when I found two Eiffel Towers, one in Paris in France and one in a city called Tian Du Chang in China, one obviously trying to copy the other. This striking phenomenon depicts two topics, Gale cities for people, depicted by Paris Old Town and many other European Old Towns and the Kovigis City of Tomorrow idea, depicted by Tian Du Chai New Town and many other new towns. But how different are their view on urbanity? Let's see. I have invented the word La Ville Radieuse. The architecture and urbanism, or planning, are in fact one problem only. They demand one solution only. And this is the work of one profession only. Anybody at any time wanted to pay professionals to make a city planning idea which would kill city life. It could not have been done better than what the modernists accomplished. Based on this phenomenon, I asked myself, how to create cities for people, like Jan Gale proposed, but from scratch, in a new town form like Le Corbusier proposed. So in short, I tried to answer this question in my graduation project, and it's been a hell of a ride. So, enjoy! <laughs>